In this video, I'll show you how to download Microsoft Access. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. It's important to note that you're going to require a subscription to Microsoft 365 or previously known as Microsoft Office in order to go and use and download Microsoft Access. But don't worry, I'll show you how. But I just want to make it clear that Microsoft Access is not a free program. And this guide is completely within the Microsoft TOS. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a browser. Personally, I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any you'd like and then go to a search engine once again you can use any then what you need to do is go and search for microsoft 365 just like so so type it in like that and go and search for it then what you need to do is make sure you go to office.com at the minute that's the website so go and tap on and here we are on the website in order to go and get microsoft access you're going to require a microsoft account don't worry if you don't have one you can go and create one it's really easy so all you want to do is go to the top right and press sign in or just go on the left hand side and press sign in as well and here we are so you know what you need to do is either enter your email phone or skype of your account or if you don't have one you can go and create one personally i've got one so i'm going to go and sign in then once you've signed in or created your account you'll be taken to a page which looks just like this if you didn't know microsoft actually allow you to go and use some of their apps online unfortunately access isn't included part of this but if you go to the top left you can go and look at the app launcher and these are the apps you can go and use however because access isn't included we need to go and purchase a microsoft 365 subscription also you may already have a paid microsoft account as well for your school or your work or something like that and so therefore you can just go and download it without Without paying anything extra but in this case I didn't have one which is why I was telling people to go and subscribe. To do that all you need to do is go over to the right hand side and go and tap on buy Microsoft 365 like so. Then as you can see we've got the option for the subscription so you can go and use a monthly subscription or a yearly. Then we've also got a personal and family option. In this case, I'm going to go and use the personal one. So at the minute, it's about six pounds a month to be slightly different in different currencies, but go and tap buy now like so, and I'll need to go and sign in. Um, and then I'm gonna go and enter my payment details. I'll press next. And as you can see, you can go and pay using a credit card, PayPal, or a mobile phone. After you subscribe, you'll be taken to a page that says get started with Microsoft 365. And you're gonna go and have the option to go and download your desktop apps at the bottom. So tap there. You'll then get taken to a page that says install office so go and tap on install office and you'll need to go and choose some quick settings for your download uh, like the language and things like that so go and press install and the installer will then download and then what you'll need to do is go and find it in your downloads folder in your file explorer and then go and run it and then you'll go and get a pop-up saying we're getting things ready and then you'll go and see a page which says please stay online while office downloads and essentially it's downloading all the applications word excel powerpoint outlook and access of course which is what you want and yeah wait for it to download it may take some time and once it's finished you can go to the bottom of your computer go and tap on search and you can then go and search for access and it should appear here or it may be on your desktop as well. If you guys found this video useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.